So folks, Lauren Boebert and her husband are in major trouble yet again as a result of a brand new investigation showing that they violated an incredibly important and serious federal law. But it's more than that. This scandal is about other things too. We're going to get to that. But Boebert's also in some brand new hot water for how her campaign has been spending money. And it's connected at least indirectly into the ongoing investigation. Also potentially criminal into how Boebert's been using and abusing campaign money and her congressional spending money, her allowances, to try and suggest that she drove around the entire world. Remember this, guys, even though she represents just one district in Colorado and basically no one traveled all that much during 2020. So Boebert's already under the magnifying glass, a criminal, at least potentially ethical magnifying glass for how she and her campaign and her office spend money. And now there are two brand new scandals. One, she's spent spent thousands of dollars at a resort just to stay at a resort, whether it was for her to get massages and get treatments or whatever, or she was holding an event. The point is that really clashes with Boebert's image. Boebert's image is not being a Washington, New York, San Francisco, Seattle elite. She represents real Americans who work hard and drive trucks and aren't fancy schmancy spa going people and all of this and all of that. And she's at a luxury resort spending what many people would take months to earn. Many families would take months to earn. It looks absolutely awful. And so does this, guys. Boebert spent $36,000 on buying her book, according to this new investigation. 36 k taking her campaign's money, money from her donors, and then using that to buy her book, which one, will make her look, book look like it actually sold. So when Boebert sees her book sales, what you don't actually know is at least 36 dollars thousand dollars of those book sales didn't come from regular people choosing to buy those books, but rather her own campaign. And Boebert at least potentially is pocketing money from that. She's taking donor money and converting it to her own pocket because, you know, generally when people buy your book, you get royalties. So Boebert took a fraction of that 36 K and may have turned it into own money for herself, which is not necessarily illegal, but it goes against the spirit of taking campaign money and making it your own money something Donald Trump has often been accused of doing. I guess Boebert is doing it as well. But here's the most serious part, because Boebert and Via through her husband have been accused and have been found in pretty stark terms of violating the Stock Act, not actually disclosing the essential trades they've been making in recent months. Totally a crime, and they've been caught by this investigative report. It says, in her 2021 filing, Boebert disclosed assets worth between $5,000 and $80,000 in stocks, cryptocurrency, and asset funds in her financial statement. Furthermore, these investments were routed through accounts owned by her husband, Jason Boebert. Using the popular investment app Robinhood, Jason Boebert made eight cryptocurrency transactions ranging between $1,000 and $15,000. These transactions be happened between May 5th and May 7, 2021. Of the eight transactions, four were purchases and four were sales, but none resulted in more than $200 of profit, according per the filing. Despite the minimal gains, Boebert failed to report these transactions. The U.S. representative didn't respond. And someone says here, an expert says, there's a huge red flag that all these assets were attained in one year, but no reporting on it. Kedrick Payne, the vice president of the campaign legal center and a former deputy chief counsel for the Office of Congressional Ethics told the Colorado Sun. Payne also called Boebert's failure to report on transactions disturbing. This is a crime. This is a crime. And this investigative report has nailed her. She's under investigation for mileage. She's spending money on spas and books. Boebert is in trouble here. I don't know if this is going to prison trouble, but she's in trouble in the sense that she could face fines and other punishments for violating this law. And she's also in trouble because it shows that she's totally a humiliated person, that she has to buy her own book to inflate her ego. And she spends hard workers, don't hardworking donors money on spa treatments while pretending to care about poor people. Lauren Boebert, you and your husband just got exposed.